Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today is the part two for the suitcase. I would like to talk about this pad there, the handle, and also the wheel design. So this is what we have done from the last demonstration and that's starting with the pad first. All right, so to do the patch, first of all, I might want to make a copy first. Control C and Control V, so I have two of them and hiding one of them. So coming into the right view, I want to decide it that where my patch is going to be. So let's go ahead, just draw a straight line, maybe from here. And we are just going to dealing with this. Just let me go ahead to trim the rest of it. Okay, so this is the area we're going to design. Now, if I'm looking from my front view, maybe my patch want to be something like this. And this one is going to be trimming something like this. So this is the area we want, we're going to uh, design for. Now, your patch can be just something like that, but I want to custom into the exactly shape that I want. And I'm going to use the blend curve command and we are going to blend it from this curve to this curve. So you can see there's a really nice round shape there and we're going to do again this curve to this curve all on our edge. And once we have this curve and this curve that we blend, we can have them to pull it back to this surface. And then once they are on the surface, we can have them to trim this one and this one. So that's how you can get something really nice and round and fitting into the corner. And if you're interested about what's different about the project and the pull, I do have the video on the right top corner right here. And you can check it out later. It has a very detailed talking about how to making those. All right. So now we're going to call back to the surface that we were hiding. And this one, I simply just want to change it into the red color. So you know what I'm working on. Okay. All right. So how are we going to make this into solid? We can simply just offset this guy and we want a solid equal. Yes. And for four millimeter, double check. This is a closed solid polish surface and we do want it to fit the edges. So let's try something small, 1.5. And I want to pick up everybody there and all the way, or you can just pick up the chin edge. It's supposed to pick up everything at once. Okay. And let's hit enter. And always uh, keeping a good habit to check uh, your model. Uh, in this case, if you click on this, notice that it's an open poly surface. Something wrong. And, and you can see it's a extra material there. I don't know why. Um, so what we wanted to do is extract the surface, this flat surface, and we can just delete them. Right. So once we delete them, double make sure it is an open poly surface. So I guess there's a gap there. If you zoom in so much, you should be able to see. But this is a rendering purpose. Um, so we, I'm just going to keep it there. But you may ask me, like, how do you fix that, right? You want to know how to fix that, right? I can read your mind. So let me show you. Um, whenever you have a break that you cannot find, you want to use a analyze to edge tool and you want to click on this and it will show naked edges and you want to zoom and, and notice that this is the open surface, right? So sometimes you will be in good luck by just using this, uh, surface from two, three, four edges, and then you can click on. The first edges, the second edges, and done that you're creating that surface. So we're gonna create this surface, first surface, and the second surface, and then done. Then you have another surface. Then you join all of them together. Double make sure it's a closed polished surface. So we are in good luck to, to fix it this way. All right. And then, so the next things, uh, if you're looking at the render view, you're going to see that 
Now this piece looks like it hopping on the surface. It doesn't look really nice there, right? So I wanted to make it look like it's separate material. So let's go back with the ghost view. And I simply just wanted to do a circle somewhere about right here. And that's coming into this view. And basically we want to make a little channel there. So let's duplicate it, the edges for this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. All right. So and make sure you join them. All right. So now you have the rail and the cross section. Let's do sweep one rail. And the rail is the curve we just uh, extract. And the cross section is this guy. And let's hit enter and click OK. All right, so that will work to have a different material on top of it, but I basically wanted to make a channel. So let's go ahead to pick up those two and we want to mirror to the other side like this. So we want to bowling difference this guy out of the tube. All right, so now you see that tiny channel there. And if you take a look on the render view, then you feel like it's it's sitting on something, it's two different material, right? So you don't have to do in such a detail for your presentation um, if you are just work on the sketch model. But I personally like all kind of this tiny detail. So for the bottom patch, it's different than the one on the top. So that's creating the wheel first. I simply just going to create a cylinder and you can have a big wheel, small wheel. It's really up to you. And depends on how thick you want your wheel to be. I'm going to move it here. It's kind of eyeball it for the size. And I want to give it a good fillet. So maybe six there. So it's nice and round. Also, I like to have the middle is kind of dipping. It's like really straight in the middle. Uh, so let's go ahead to using ellipsoid. And now we want to use the diameter and we're snapping into here and here and for about this size and here. All right. So then I have that one that I can mirror to the other side. And we simply just need to pull in difference this one out of those two. All right. So now you see it's kind of dipping in there. All right. So that's one thing. The second thing is the top holding wheel design. So I simply just going to making using the center to make an arc and roughly about this size. It cannot be bigger than the wheel, right? And then I'm going to go from here, making a holder look something like this and have this one to be mirror to the other side like this. And all we need to do is connect it by using the command for blend to blend this surface and we'll get something like this. Let's go ahead to join it right now. I'm I'm working on the front view and you see it's snapping uh, so crazy there. So at the front view, we can use the commands called project to C plane and we want to delete the input. So now uh, it will be flattened to the C plane and we can bring it back. So now uh, if this is what you like, that's great. If not, you can keep editing until you find the shape you like. I usually like to do is to fit it at this edges too, even though it don't feel like it's kinky there, but it is, you can see the straight coming into the curve, the arc. So let's go ahead to fit it and let's try something big. Uh, six is okay there. Just want them to not so sharp. All right. So now I have this one. I'm going to use the solid command to extrude the planar curve straight and to roughly about this thickness. All right. So then we have something like that. Notice that your wheel will stuck in there, but that's okay. We are going to cut it out. So let's go ahead to align them first. Let's align them horizontal on the top view. So I got something like this, right? And we wanted to cut it out by using 
the wheel itself and we, I just want to make a copy and make them bigger right so I have a little bit distance there and that will be our color uh, before I do that I would like to fit it first let's try fit it for something really small let's try two and we got something here and this is a, this is usually a sign of the problem so make sure that you don't have that if you do have that uh, that means your fillet might be too big in some point so I actually like to bring this up a little bit and let's extrude it one more time sometimes even though it doesn't say it has a naked edges but I just don't like that fold because it's always caused the problem later on all right so now it's much better and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side always fit it first before you do the bullying so we're gonna fit it that the same way okay so now we can do the bullying difference this one out of this guy let's hide the wheel first and see what we if we like this and you don't have to have this curve you can like straight cut if you like it so I want to give a little fillet there um, it just look nicer on the render so let's give it a try for one and we want to try that for one as well on the other side all right that look okay double make sure it is solid even though it's not solid that's fine because we are not going to print it and then we'll bring the wheel back and then let me just creating another layer and change the object layer for those wheels so let's do a blue color okay so now we have the wheel most of the time they don't go straight like that um, they actually is rotated so this guy it's going to rotate it with the center roughly about 45 degree something like this okay and then the way this guy to connect to the top I will need to have a cylinder and go something like this we'll go a little bit higher go something like this Go a little bit lower and it's a little bit too big and cutting into the wheel so I'm going to adjust it so something like this right now this might appear to be too short but I don't want to bowling it first because I might need to change something later on on the top okay so now this is a group let's group it together let's talk about how we're going to deal with the button so we are going to do something look like this from the bottom going straight coming over here and draw a straight line or something like that but if you use this curve and just trim of this guy you're going to notice that you're trimming everybody off all the way to the bottom unless that's your design we are not gonna trim it that way so instead of the trimming like that we need to have this guy maybe a little bit rounder we need to have this guy to project it to this surface so then you'll get something like this okay so that is on one side now let's take a look on the side view on the side view I'm going to draw a straight line going something like this okay and using that straight line I'm going to trim off the curve that I just created there so now our curve look like this and this straight line can project it to the surface as well and we're gonna use this line to trim off the extra here and the extra there okay so I'm going to join this line and turn them into the red color so you know what I'm talking about all right so this will be the area that we are working on but I really don't like this corner there and this corner I really don't like it so I'm going to using the split command and we're gonna split with the point so this is going to be split roughly about here and here this curve is going to be split with the point right at here and right at here so we can delete those curve and we can delete those curve all right so then this is a big opening how are we gonna connect it together by using the 
blend so we're gonna blend it between here and here and we're gonna blend it between here and here all right and then we can join all of this so we want to have uh, this curve to trim off whoops something and then you notice that everything is gone it's the reason is because when we use the blend this piece is no longer on the surface right so in order to trim we need to have it exactly on the surface so let's do a pull then we want to pull back this curve to the surface you need to click on all the surfaces touching right so every part is there and then um, now this is the curve that we can use to trim off this part here so there will be a hole there we're gonna use exactly the same curve that we have a pull back and let's join it and we want to mirror to the other side and snapping into here and you want to use this curve to trim off this area there okay all right, so now the problem is how are we going to get this to fitting in there? Let's take a look. So I want to move it into the place I want it to be, something like that. And then we wanted to duplicate it, this edge is there. And I'm going to change it into the red color so it makes sense to you. So ideally, if I can create the surface in between here and here, that will work, right? So let's try it. So let's try blend first. We're going to use the blend command for blending surface and the chain edge equal yes. I want to pick up this edges and this edges. Then it will have something like that. And if that pinching too much and uh, we can bring it down so it's not as pinching there. Or you can adjust it the way that you like it and you hit enter then you will get something like this and i forgot one thing this things it blends so well but it doesn't have the thickness so we want to offset this guy by giving a little thickness there 4.4 the same thing and I want to make sure solid equal yes then we'll get something like this notice that this is a little fold there and in the if this is going to be print that you're going to have a problem in the render it doesn't really matter that much but I know you're going to ask me how to fix this so I'm going to fix it here uh, let's go back one step it is getting pinches probably because of this part is way too close so we want to move it more be like this and be lower a little bit and that will relax that pinches there and let's give it a try we're gonna do the surface tool and for blend and we're gonna blend again with this edges to this edges there And sometimes it's hard to see if they are aligned. I always try to find where it's quadrant or at least it's look uh, flat there. And then um, let's go ahead to reduce that pinch there. All right, so let's give it a try. We want to offset this guy one more time. And for four millimeter, the same, we want a solid equal yes. And then that is much better. Don't forget to fit the edges. Want something small like a one. Let's go ahead to click the chain edge and we can fit it all at once. And we're simply just going to mirror everything to the other side. And then pick up all of this to mirror to this side. Final thing is the handle. Handle is pretty easy. We want to creating a block look like this and that's where it's going to be one of the holder and we can simply just tilt it to have it sitting in there right i'm going to bring it out first because i wanted to sh able to show you what they are let's go ahead to giving a fitted for something really small like two and we'll get something like this now i have this block 
maybe that's a little bit too big so let me make it smaller and it depends on how you like your handle to be I usually just do I usually just do an arc something like this coming out like that and rebuild this arc to have a more point so let's say I have seven point for degree three and then I would like to have this one and this one it may go in this direction a little bit and going down a little bit point out like that okay and maybe pinch in a little bit so I have that nice curve and I'm just going to making a copy I'm going to flatten out those three points just type it zero here so it's more flat here on the bottom this two might want to bring up a little bit so it's up to you how you like the, sh the basic shape is um, you can keep tweaking until you like it all right so I, I wanted to making a cross section so those two I'm going to using the conic corner of the rectangle I'm going to snap in one here one here and coming up don't want to be too long cannot be longer than the case here actually let's go ahead to align everybody by the horizontal center and we're gonna do it sweep again sweep to rail one rail two cross section and if you don't like that fat you can click on the maintain height and there will be something like that okay and we can bring this one close to here and this one will need to mirror to the other side okay so double make sure if that is what you want let's go ahead to move it back to here something like that all right i know it's a really long demonstration i hope you enjoy it and i hope that help you to work on your project whether it is for product design or jewelry design let me know if you like this type of the demonstration and if it is too difficult for you you can check out my course i have an introduction course uh, that's starting everything from beginning thank you for watching and i'll see you next